welcome back to another video thank you so much for clicking and don't forget to subscribe like and also share today we're going to talk about miss doliane kundwa from a small country in east africa called rwanda and was blessed enough to be crowned miss rwanda in 2015. she moved to canada where she currently lives work and study within her canadian rwandan community she was appointed vice president and director of public relations by international rwanda youth for development she is exploring a few business opportunities that can connect Rwanda and Canada meaningfully. She says that she misses her friends and family back home miss, and she also misses the fact that of being home around Rwandans and everyone speaking Kenya Rwanda. She also said that she is blessed by the fact that she has members of her family in Canada and made some new friends. In when she was asked about where she sees herself in the next five years, she said in an interview that uh, she hopes she can inspire more young Rwandans at home and abroad to start their own businesses or even follow their own dreams in the arts, academia, sports and other domains. Being crowned Miss Rwanda in 2015 opened up many opportunities for her. She has been able to travel, learn about new places and people both in Africa, Europe and North America. Untimely, she uh, the crowned the crown enabled her to assume a higher sense of responsibility. The type of responsibility that extends beyond uh, her to the public domain. As Miss Rwanda 2015, she somehow carries the entire nation with her. She represents Rwanda and Rwandans. This is something she does not take lightly. She meets a lot of people that recognize her at the most public events she attends in Canada. This privilege comes with responsibility attached to it. The people she meets who identify her crown with Rwanda reminds her that wherever she goes, she is a representative of her beloved country. There is no higher honor than that, and it is an honor she carries with pride. Thank you so much for watching.